Next time I come on stage, I love him. Like I, I love him. Like it's fucked up. He, he, I, I didn't tell him until right now. Guys, give it up for Bobby J. Cox. Thanks, guys. And Sean, how you guys doing tonight? You feeling good, Funny Bone? Yeah. All right, good. Uh, I'm glad you guys are here. You ready to laugh? I'm ready to laugh too. I did it already on my way here. Cause uh, I was driving, I see a car and they had a bumper sticker that didn't make any sense to me. The bumper sticker just read, uh, Jesus is coming, dot, 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 look busy. <laughs> what, like, like Jesus works for corporate? <laughs> like there's some guy in the office like, hey guys, I heard Jesus coming, just get, just get to work. What do you want me to do? The hell, I don't know, fax something. <laughs> I know I'm weird, I'll just get that right off the bat. You guys don't have to like whisper about it. I'm really weird. Even like earlier today, I went to uh, St. Louis Bread Company and I went up to the lady and I ordered a ham and Swiss. And the lady behind the counter said, would you like that on rye? And I couldn't pass it up. I just said, rye not? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna die alone, aren't I? <laughs> I'm gonna die alone. I hope I don't die alone, but I probably will because I, uh, like right now, I still live with my parents, so that's like the direction it's heading. Um, <laughs> I also sleep on an air mattress. <laughs> Bobby, make your bed! <laughs> Sleeping on an air mattress is weird, super weird, especially when I try to have girls over. Like, I had this girl over the other day, and like, guys, I'm, not, I'm really not trying to be mean, but I mean, she popped. <laughs> my hardwood floor, so. <laughs> I mean, that's saying something. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm weird, but I'm not the weirdest guy, like in St. Louis, at least. Uh, that award goes to the guy I saw the other day downtown at the Arch. Me and my friends went downtown, and uh, we stopped by the Arch, and there's this guy just standing by one of the bases of the Arch, just admiring it, just looking it up and down, and then he places one hand on the Arch, and then he places two hands on the Arch. And then he pushes on the arch. <laughs> and I started laughing. I started pointing out to my friends. I was like, this is ridiculous, because the arch is roughly what? Like, I don't know, like the heaviest thing in St. Louis. And this guy thinks he's going to put a dent in it. And I realized that laughing was not what I should have done. What I should have done when I saw this was ran around to the other side of the arch and like put my back up against it and be like, hey, man, what's your problem? <laughs> we haven't bolted this thing down yet. <laughs> You're gonna knock it over and ruin the gateway to the west. You're gonna knock it over and ruin one of the Dakotas. I don't know, I'm not smart. Uh, I didn't pay attention a lot of class. I was a class clown and that got me nowhere. So <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, I like that we can, we can just smoke in here regardless of how just anyone thinks about it. It's just like, it kind of reminds me of like a Waffle House, you know? When you go inside, they're like, would you like smoking or uh, to get the fuck out? <laughs> The smell in here we're trying to maintain. Guys, uh, <laughs> you guys are great. I love doing this. It's my favorite thing in the world to do. And uh, recently I did a show and one of my ex-girlfriends came out and she brought her new boyfriend, uh, which is not a big deal. We're friends now. Even when I saw him, I shook both their hands. And then she, he found out that we had dated and I wasn't okay with him. And on the way home, he said, I can't believe you had me go see your ex-boyfriend. can't believe you had me shake the hand of someone you banged. And when I heard that, all I could think is like, hey man, if you don't want to shake the hands of people she's banged, she probably stop shaking people's hands. <laughs> I can just only really think of how that conversation went on the way home. Like, well, how many people have you had sex with? I don't keep track. Come on, like, just ballpark it. Uh, Yankee Stadium? <laughs> All right, thank you guys. That's my time. I'm Bobby Jacobs.